Welcome to the video lecture on the gated SR latch or the SR flip-flop. The very basic difference between them is we have an enable signal in case of the gated SR latch and whereas in case of SR flip-flop we have a clock signal and I am writing the same thing. We have a clock signal in case of the SR flip-flop and now we will see the operation in depth. First, let me draw the logic diagram of the gated SR latch. I will draw two NAND gates. This is going to be our first NAND gate with two inputs and an output. Similarly, I will draw one more NAND gate which again has two inputs and an output. Now, I will cross couple these two NAND gates. That means the output of the first NAND gate is connected to the input of the second NAND gate. Similarly, the output of the second NAND gate is connected to the input of the first NAND gate. Hence, the connection becomes cross coupled. Now, I will draw two more NAND gates. This is our first NAND gate and I will name it as NAND gate A. Similarly, I will draw one more NAND gate and I will name it as NAND gate B. Let one of the inputs to NAND gate A be yes and one of the inputs to NAND gate B be R. And I connect the other two inputs together and I call that input as enable. This is the input enable. And I call the two input and I call the two outputs as Q and Q bar. Now we will try to write the truth table for the gated SR latch. We know that yes, R and enable are the inputs and are writing the same thing. And we have two outputs Q plus and Q plus bar. These two are the outputs. So these two are the outputs. The only difference between the SR latch and the gated SR latch is the presence of an enable input. Through enable input, we can have the complete control over the operation of the SR latch. The enable input could be either 0 or 1. First, I will make the enable input as 0 and I do not bother about the other two inputs S and R. And I indicate the same thing with two cross marks. Before considering the actual operation of the gated SR latch or the SR flip flop, we must know how a simple NAND gate behaves. Let me revise the same concept. Let A and B are the two inputs of a NAND gate and Q is the output. According to the truth table of a NAND gate, the output is low when both the inputs are high. And I am writing the same thing. The output is low when both the inputs are high. And the output is high when either of the inputs is low. Now, coming back to the gated SR latch, wherein one of the inputs of two NAND gates is zero. Therefore, irrespective of the second input, the output will be high. And that one serves as the input to two cross coupled NAND gates. In this case, without knowing the second input, we cannot determine the output. And we have to make use of the concept of the present state and the next state. Let, let the present state be 0 and 1. It could be either 0 and 1 or 1 and 0. Now I am considering it as 0 and 1. Now this 0 will act as another input for the lower NAND gate and the output will be 1 and this one in turn acts as another input for the upper NAND gate and one NANDing with 1 results in 0. So this will be the output and this is the next state and if we can compare the next state is equal to the present state itself and I am writing the same thing on the truth table the output is the present state itself which is Q and Q bar. Now, I'll make the enable input as 1 
and see how the latch behaves like. Let S and R be 0 and 0. This is going to be our first set of inputs. And I'll add the same thing. S is 0, R is also 0 and enable input is 1. 0 NANDing with 1 results in 1. Similarly, 1 NANDing with 0 results in 1. To determine the outputs, we must again make use of the concept of the present state and the next state. And we can again prove that and we can again prove that the next state is equal to the present state itself. I said the next state is equal to the present state itself. And I'll add the same thing onto the truth table. The output is the present state itself, that is Q and Q bar. Now we'll consider the next set of inputs, which is 0 and 1. And of course, enable is still 1. And I'll indicate the same thing. S is 0, R is 1, and enable input is 1. 0 NANDing with 1 results in 1, and 1 NANDing with 1 results in 0. Irrespective of the second input to the lower NAND gate, the output is 1. And this one in turn acts as the another input to the upper NAND gate. Now, 1 NANDing with 1 results in 0. Therefore, the output is 0 and 1. And I'll write the same thing onto the truth table. In this case, we can say that the latch is reset. Here, we'll consider the next set of inputs, which is 1 and 0. And enable is still 1. And again, I'll indicate the same thing onto the logic diagram. S is 1, R is 0, and enable is 1. 1 NANDing with 1 results in 0. And 1 NANDing with 0 results in 1. Now, irrespective of the second input to the upper NAND gate, the output is going to be 1. This 1 acts as the another input to the lower NAND gate. 1 NANDing with 1 results in 0. So for the input 1 and 0, we got the output as 1 and 0. And I'll add the same thing onto the truth table. And now we can say that the latch is set. Lastly, we'll consider the inputs as 1 and 1. And enable is still going to be 1. And I indicate the same thing onto the logic diagram. S is 1, R is 1, and enable is also 1. 1 NANDing with 1 results in 0. Similarly, 1 NANDing with 1 results in 0. From the truth table of the NAND gate, we can say that the output of the upper NAND gate is going to be 1. Similarly, the output of the lower NAND gate is also going to be 1. But we know that Q and Q bar are complement to each other. That means, both cannot be high and both cannot be low at the same time. Hence, this set of inputs should be avoided or this set of inputs is forbidden. And I'll write the same thing onto the truth table as Q is 1 star and Q plus is 1 star. That means this state is forbidden.